what's up guys welcome to another episode of Trinbago vibes today it's airbnb versus hotel right here in tobago so we're in tobago at this point in time and right now the airbnb and the hotel is in bacolet which is to the eastern side of scarborough the main capital of Tobago so yeah it's basically along the same road so in terms of location it is the same to get in anywhere else so in terms of amenities well let's go check that out now the key for Airbnb was inside a coded lock whose combination was provided by our host oh hello there well that's the bed couch kitchen and now let's head to the bathroom through these doors. This is definitely a perfect place for two. And outside there is the deck. Still, the view outside here, I mean, waking up to this, it's pretty good. You could hear the ocean nearby. And then you've got a shower right on the outside too, and pipe. So when you come back from the beach, it's easy to um, wash off before you go inside. And there's some stairs leading down to a little part way there. Let's see where it goes. This will lead you to a clearer ocean view. And if you're a bird watching fan, numerous birds pass through here, especially the Kokriko, that's Tobago's national bird. Now, this Ocean View Studio Airbnb. It is worth it. I'll leave all that information in the description below. Right. Now let's head across to the hotel. All right, guys. Let's check this out. This water out here. You know we did that test to see how clear the water is. How nice it is. Ooh, it's a bit rough at the moment. This is the Bacalet Beach Club. Point to note is that there are no elevators at this beach club slash hotel. So therefore, if you're on the bottom or top floors, you'll have to walk up stairs or down the stairs with your luggage. Take note. Hi guys. So this here is the room at the hotel. Bacalet Beach Club. Oh, okay. So the bed, table, thing. Oh, bathroom, dual sink. Nice. Pull on shower. Pretty good. Fridge. Let's check out the view compared to what we had at the Airbnb. Eh. It's called bush. You still see the ocean. There's a pool there. Now we're taking these stairs down to the beach at this hotel. Now there's no really private beach on the island because there are steps that other properties can access this particular one but this is more or less an inclusive beach to this property well this is Bacolet Bay or one of the bays along Bacolet not sure the name actually so there's this little rock crop here let's see where this goes At the end of this rock outcrop is another one. The journey continues. So exploring, still more up outcrop to go, but yeah, 
This is pretty nice. Pretty cool. A little exploration and this is what you get. Freaking awesome. There's, there's Cabro right there. So you will see these ships actually coming in from Trinidad down on that end there. And we'd have stayed somewhere along these ridges around here at the Airbnb. Wow. Pretty awesome. It's like a crab graveyard guys. Look at this. You have seen remnants of crab all over. Most likely um it's either the waves either smash them up or like birds pick them up somewhere and then drop them here uh, so that they can come and feast on them afterwards who knows but there's a good bit of them scattered all over here all right time to head back to summarize both hotel and airbnb right here has its pros and cons and it all depends on your budget and what you're planning to do here yeah, has a nice view, nice beach, you have all access to pool, you're getting free breakfast as part of the package or you can go the all-inclusive. Whereas the Airbnb you'll have to normally, I guess, fend for yourself. But they have all the other amenities there so you can cook and whatnot. Whereas here you just have a fridge and hope you enjoyed this one. Um, until the next time, later. This is Bacalet Side. Airbnb versus hotel. Trinbago vibes. We go on. <laughs>